Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a good week so far and all that jazz. Now, if it looks like I've been crying, I haven't actually been crying. Just had a coughing fit. Uh, I was recording the video, just got to the end of the first track, started talking about it, uh, and a piece of phlegm went down the wrong hole. I just absolutely had a massive coughing fit. I had to stop the video. Uh, but that will be the third time I've recorded this video now, because uh, the first time I recorded it, I actually did the whole video. And now you'll know if you watch this channel regularly that I do forget sometimes to plug the mic in and I have to do it all over again. But I was sure I had the mic plugged in, but apparently it wasn't all the way in uh, and it didn't record the audio. So we're on the third time for this video uh, and no bother though, because the bands I've got for today are super nice uh, and I don't mind listening to them how many, however many times it takes to get this video done. We're going to be checking out some post-metal today, sludgy, doomy, deathy, uh, some post-hardcore edges in there as well, but three super nice bands to check out, uh, and a couple of the bands really need some more listeners because they've hardly got any, uh, and we need to get more people on board with their band. The first band we're going to check out is called A Best. They're on the Chariot of Black Moth. We know they've always got great bands on there, but this band is super nice, deathy, dark, and post-metal, sludgy music. Absolutely love it. The track is called Molten Husk. <clears throat> Let's give it a spin. Sick bass tone in there as well. Super nice. Man, dark and nasty, deathy, sludgy, post metal -y. all the right boxes tick. The sound is just super nice, great mix. Drums sound super natural, no messing about and quantizing and sampling and all that stuff. Just a natural raw drum kit, clattering, rattly cymbals, sounded amazing, nice wash to them as well sick ghost notes and just interesting bits within the riffs to just spice it up really really nice dope 
dirty, deep bass tone in there as well, which is what you want for this kind of music. So important, the bass tone. And I'll say now all the bands today have got a really nice bass tone, so they all tick that box nicely. Just a dark, nasty, deathy edge to it, you know? It just makes you pull a grimace face the whole way through. Love it. What a great vibe. Hopefully we'll check out this band some more. Keep sending over your videos. Very, very nice. Now, the next two bands, we really need to get some more listeners for these bands because they've only got 44 subscribers, these guys, and they sound really, really cool. They do say on their page here uh, that they're a um, post-hardcore band from Slovenia. We've had a few bands from Slovenia. Someone keeps sending me um, bands over from Slovenia. I'm not sure who it is. If it's you, send put your uh, name in the post uh, and I'll give you a shout out. Uh, they say they're a hardcore, post-hardcore metal band, uh, but I put them in with the post-metal guys today because they sound nice and sludgy, nice and doomy. The only thing I'm going to say for these guys after listening to their track one time, you can watch out for it yourself is I feel like they need to spread their music out a bit more just spread the guitars out and pan them out because if you look over at the uh, stereoizer there you'll see that it's only spread to about 50 percent and I feel with this kind of music to get the stereo and the soundscape and the width and the atmosphere and they are quite an atmospheric band uh, you want to spread everything out as much as you can really nice drumming in this band as well watch out for that here we go oh better get them on the screen here we go Got a great bass tone. No spicy drums in this band. Yeah, so sections like this where I feel it could be wider, it could be more stereoscopy. Really nice. 
Clear a lot of potential in this band, definitely. I think hopefully we can get on board with them now and then see that evolution of them going forward. Some really nice ideas in this band. I think they just need to pull some of them more together a bit more. Uh, spread their music out wide in the mix to get a nice wide atmospheric sound to it all. Uh, and just get that you know wider soundscape because it suits the music so well. And it will suit their music so well, I'm sure. Uh, very, very nice band. Love the spicy drumming and all the extra stuff going on. Even when there's sections that are just open chords and, or just kind of jangling away on the guitar, not doing very much on the guitars. But the drummers doing loads of stuff, working the hi-hats, working the cymbals, working the toms. Loved it. Nice raw drum sound again, which just came through really nice. Uh, so really cool band. There's lots going on. I can really see that, the, you know, this is a band that can be really, really cool going forward. So we're going to get on board with them early. Hopefully they start sending over their videos so we can keep checking them out, see them evolve and get better. Uh, but yeah. Really, really nice stuff going on. Cool vibe to it. Uh, it's got that hard, post-hardcore edge to it. It's not as dark and deathy uh, as the best in the first band, um, but it's just still a nice sludgy, doomy edge to it. You know, trudging along with the music. Sounds really dope. Hopefully this band will keep sending over their music. And the same for this last band as well, because these guys have only got 50 subscribers and they deserve to have more than that. They've got a really cool video for this one as well. Uh, nice high quality video. This is Code Speaker. Their track is called Carthage. Really, really like this one. The only thing I'm going to say about this one is these guys have got a kind of interlude section where they break into some instrumental sections and it's a nice build up. It's a breakdown and then a nice build up and a suspenseful build up. And I was really expecting it to kind of come in hard and it doesn't come in quite as hard as I was hoping. So watch out for that. See if you th see what you think. Here we go. got a super nice bass tone. absolutely kills it in this mix. It's got such a powerful sound. Both looks dope.
that should have come in hard there. Very cool band. And to think they've only got 50 subscribers. We need to get these bands some more listeners because when you're making super cool music like that, more people need to hear it. Simple as that. I really, really enjoyed these all these bands again the second time. And to stay with what I said about this, these guys, though, I really felt it again in this uh, the second listen, right where you want it to slam and the, the build-up to pay off because they've got that big, long build-up and then they're doing the chugs in there as well. And you're like, yeah, it's building me up. It's really going to come in heavy now. And then it kind of plateaus out for a bit, then comes in heavy. I would just remove that section where it plateaus out, where the vocal comes in and then just drop in the heavy section. Let the singer come in roaring as well, because you've built up with all the suspense is there, all the kind of cock tease is there to get, get you ready for a big drop. Uh, and then it kind of doesn't happen. So man, I really think they should just remove that small section there and just come in hard after all of that buildup. Cause that's what a buildup's all about. That's the payoff of having such a cool buildup and a suspenseful buildup. So man, that's what I'd say to those guys going forward. If you're gonna have those breakdowns into an interlude uh, and then build it up with a suspenseful vibe, you know, make sure that that pays off when it actually does drop and comes in. So it's gotta come in super hard and have that contrast and make that, that build-up pay off. I would say to the drummer as well, because we've had such spiciness and niceness in the other two bands, I'll take a little tip from them. And he was doing some nice ghost notes and stuff, which I appreciated, but I do feel he could work his kit more in this kind of music so that when the guitars are doing big, long, open chords, he can spice it up. He can fill that space in with some, you know, just a bit of 16ths on the hi-hat, work the ride, something cool, uh, just to fill in that space and be interesting and kind of show off a little bit on the drums. Love to hear it in this kind of music when bands do that. And the only other thing I thought is, the, uh, the lead guitar, that was a, a bit too loud in the mix for my taste. And I would have, I would add more reverb and atmosphere to it so that it's more spacious and wide and brings in an atmospheric vibe to the music as well as the lead edge. Uh, I just kind of spread it out a bit more again. Um, and again, these guys, you know, 50 subscribers already creating super nice music with a couple of tweaks here and there you know, are going to go over the edge with it. Very, very nice. So I hope these last two bands particularly get on board with this channel because these are two bands who are, you know, early early doors in terms of how many subscribers and people know about them. Uh, and we'd love to get on board early. That's what this channel is all about. Uh, and we'll start talking about their band and checking out their music. And hopefully they start sending their music over uh, so that we can do that on the regular as well. That'd be super dope. If you've enjoyed these bands today, give the video a like. That'd be great. And head over to their channel, give them a like as well and get them some more subscribers. Uh, and if they see a bump after being on the show, that'd be super great. Uh, if you want to get your band on the channel, let me talk about your music and, you know, check out the video and all 
all the rest of it, head over to the website, all the links in the description. Uh, and if you want to check out Bands Tomorrow and all the rest of the other days, hit the subscribe button as well. There you go. That's all that crap out the way. Hope you're having a good week so far, guys. That's going to be it for me today. Cheers. Bye.